Hello, and welcome to How Tech Tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to create a flowchart in Microsoft Word. Let's say you want to document the process that happens after a user has provided the username and password to log in a website. First, we will define the process and later on change the shapes to make it look like a flowchart. Let's move to the Insert tab and click on the Smart Art button. For showing a decision tree, we can move to the Hierarchy category and select the Organizational Chart option from here. In the text box, let's remove the default text first. Now let's start defining the process. The first shape will represent the start of the process, so let's simply type in Start over here. Once we hit Enter, the next shape will appear. To connect it with the first process, let's hit the Tab key on the keyboard. Now this shape will be a decision with two outcomes, whether the username and password entered was correct or not. After we have entered the decision, let's move to the next line. Hit the Tab key and write Yes and No in two different lines. Now each outcome has an action. So for example, let's go back to Yes, hit the Enter key, then the Tab key, and let's write the outcome we want, which is that the user will be logged in the system. Similarly, we will add an action for the other outcome as well. Last of all, we will end the process after both outcomes. Now let's make it look like a flowchart. For that, we will select each shape in the Smart Art and change it. So let's select the Start and End processes. Move to Format and click on the Change Shapes drop down menu. The oval shape, or the terminator symbol, is used to represent the start or end of a process, so let's select that. Next, for the decision, we will use the diamond shape which will have two outcomes. The rectangle shape represents the process. Since the remaining shapes are processes, we will keep them as is. Lastly, let's select all the line shapes and change them to arrows. Within the Format tab, let's open up the Shape Outline drop-down menu. Move to Arrows and click on this option here. This is a basic flowchart and you can use all the formatting features available in Word, whether for text or shapes. And that's all. Would you like to know more about any specific Word feature? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos.